Manhattan GMAT. He works with college grads every day. Welcome to the program. Thanks, and man. then we also have two students, Mirdad Samadi and Dana Shaheen. They're both about to graduate from business programs at Rutgers University here in New Jersey, and both are struggling to find work despite good grades and lots of highly sought after internship experience. Welcome to the program, everyone. Mirdad and Dana, I just want you to quickly, and we'll start with you, Mirdad, lay out for us what you've been trying to do and how many no's you've heard at this point. Well, I mean, I interned at a French investment bank for two years, and they unfortunately were not able to send me an offer because they were having massive layoffs. So I want to work in research. I've been applying everywhere from government agencies to private companies, small companies, large companies, everything. And so far, I haven't been very successful. Are you even I'm... hearing back from these people for interviews? or Some yes, some no. How about you, Dana? Tell us your experience. Well, my, my story started junior year, uh, spring semester, when I was looking for an internship. I had my heart set on an investment banking internship with one, one of the bulge bracket firms, and I signed on with Bear Stearns Investment Banking, but due to the collapse, that offer was rescinded. And since then, I've been trying so hard to get okay. into banking. I want to ask you a question, though. With the signing, did you get a signing bonus or anything like that that you actually got to keep? Yeah, we got to keep that. Okay. Awesome. All right, guys. First of all, I want to, as a former big idea guy who you know was doing entrepreneurs, <laughs> this will pass. You know, you have your whole lives ahead of us. So I mean, you can't get caught up on watching CNBC. The world's not great. We got a superstar here. He's going to tell you what to do. These are two stars. So we're going to pop. We're going to pep them up tonight. The world's good. We're going to get them jobs. What do you tell them? Well, the first thing is to stay positive because, as Donnie's saying, this isn't going to last forever. Uh, no one wants to live through a recession professionally, but if you have to live through one. The best times to live through it are when you're very young or when you're at the tail end of your career. So as Donnie said, you guys have plenty of time to recover from this. Um, many people who are going towards finance are finding it hard to, to find jobs. And a lot of them are, are showing a lot of flexibility and adaptability. So that, that's what uh, I'd advise for you in terms of uh, broadening your job search. It sounds like, Mirdad, you're looking at uh, different types of firms, which is outstanding. Um, you may even want to broaden your search to other less traditional firms. Uh, for example, uh, government work, uh, education, either going back to school uh, or teaching. Uh, both of those are becoming ex extremely popular now. Guys, the other thing I want to say to you, here's the, here's the kind of glass half full. If you ever had an entrepreneurial dream, now's the time to do it. You know, we, we were all brought up to say you got to go through seven years of apprenticeship and whatnot. And what the world has shown us, particularly with young people in technology today, you don't have to spend seven years at Goldman Sachs. You don't have to spend 10 years at Procter & Gamble. So I almost say, wait a second. This is a window for the next year or two since I can't get that corporate job. Did you ever have a dream? Did you have an idea? Now's the time to go for it. Are you finding that with a lot of young people today? Sure. A lot of young people uh, felt like they had their life laid out for them, even though they were still in college. And now this is a chance for them to explore a lot of their aspirations that they really hadn't had a chance to develop earlier. This could be a golden opportunity for many young people because uh, this will end, as Donnie was saying. And if you stay positive and stay productive through this time, you'll be the best position to prosper uh, when the economy does turn around, which are, it always does. Are you seeing any areas of hidden opportunity? Um, well, the opportunities in the financial services industry tend to be among uh, small niche-oriented boutique firms. But unfortunately uh, for entry-level grads, um, those firms tend to be hiring uh, displaced experienced professionals yeah. from some of the larger firms. Let's say, I mean, I, I've, he I've been hearing anecdotally that folks from Bear Stearns, Lehman Brothers, some of the big top guys are now starting these sort of underground smaller funds, okay? If I'm looking on the job market to get linked up with one of those firms, how do I even find out about them? How do I find out who they are? You know, the best way to do that, uh, and this is a very old story, is to network. And for young uh, college students, you don't think you have networks, but the truth is you Ooh. do. Uh, your network includes your parents' networks, your friends' networks. You should uh, talk to your friends and say, hey, um, maybe I could meet with your boss to see if I could pick his or her brain and get some advice. A lot of people will take those meetings, and from that, you may find hidden opportunities that way. And, and even maybe the Rutgers database of people who have graduated previously who are out doing things. I have a question, actually. This comes back to Rutgers and to universities throughout the country who are facing this economic downturn. Their graduates are going out into the workforce. They're not finding opportunities. Do you think there's any chance that a business school out there or a university out there would actually consider putting together a fund of seed money to actually fund some of these entrepreneurial ideas at a time like this when they know the majority of their graduates are facing one of the toughest job markets ever? Is that even a possibility? 
Uh, that, that would be amazing. Uh, you know, our company works with a lot of the top business schools, uh, officers from Harvard, uh, UChicago. I'll have to suggest it to them next time I see them. You should. I'll suggest it to <sighs> UChicago. That's where I went to see A special shout out goes to our God tier patrons over on Patreon. Zach Sargent, Joshua Hare, Matthew Gerard, Bradley Davis, Chaitanya Maloretti, Jitsen Chang, Kristen Marie, Marshall Hughes, Manuel Correa III, Ashley Shake, Alexandra Dembski, Justin Zhu, Andy Tu, Trevor Russell, Newt Mork, a so and Nelson, Mike Murdoch, Nerds for Yang, and Eric Hazelquist. If you would like to hear your name heard at the end of every video on our channel, then become a god-tier patron of the show today.